This video is an introduction to LangGraph, ingesting LangGraph's traces into a rise, along with utilizing LLMs as a judge to evaluate the agent. LangGraph is a library for building stateful, multi-actor applications within LLMs, which are used to create agents and multi-agent workflows. It allows you to define flows involving cycles, which are essential for agentic architectures, and are slightly different from DAG-based solutions. As a low-level framework, it can also provide deeper control over the flow and state of an application, which is important to create reliable agents. Furthermore, there is also built-in persistence, enabling advanced human-in-the-loop and memory features. The example today we're going to use is a SQL agent. The concept is to answer questions from a SQL database. The steps of the agent are the following, which is to fetch available tables from the database, determine relevant tables to the question being asked, fetch data definition language or DDL for relevant tables, generate the query based on questions and information from the DDL, double check the query for common mistakes using an LLM, executing the query and returning results, correcting mistakes that are surfaced by the database until the query is successful, then formulate a response based on the results. This is important because one of the central concepts of LangGraph is state. Each graph execution creates a state passed between nodes in the graph as they execute. And each node is updating the internal state with its return value after it executes. In this way, the graph updates the internal state is defined by either the type of graph or a custom function. The traces from the agent are collected using the LangChain auto instrumenter provided through open inference. It's worth noting that LangGraph is compatible with the LangChain auto instrumenter. These traces are then ingested into a rise. The trace is the entire request and each of these boxes is the spans comprising every single unit of work within the agents. This includes chain, tool, and others. Additionally, what we've done is run two evaluations against this agent. One of them is SQL generation, which is to check if the SQL generated is correct based on questions being asked, in addition to an AI versus human ground truth evaluator to check if the agent is answering the questions correctly compared to the human answer in a golden data set provided offline. In this example, the original question being asked is how many albums does the artist Led Zeppelin have? The AI ground truth answer notes that the human ground truth notes 14 albums, which is the correct answer. The AI answer also stated the artist Led Zeppelin has 14 albums, which is correct. Additionally, we have the SQL generation evaluator, where the instructions asking for the number of albums by Led Zeppelin. The reference query did correctly identify the artist, and the provided response does state Led Zeppelin has 14 albums. This is a plausible and correct result of the query. In contrast, we also have another where it was incorrect. This example is what is the most purchased track of 2017? We can take a look at the evaluations and find that it can't verify and accurately identify the most purchased tracks of 2017. Additionally, with the AI ground truth, it is incorrect as the most purchased track of 2017 was hot girl, but the AI answer has the most purchase track of rehab with three purchases. Because these don't match, it's considered irrelevant. All of this allows you to go and utilize LangGraph and the LLMs as a judge will allow you to go and track the performance of it over time. Thanks for watching.